Good evening from Calgary International Airport. Seb here and welcome to the channel. Tonight I'm heading off to Vancouver and this is my first flight with Flair Airlines, a nice ultra low cost carrier which I haven't tried out before so it should be interesting. Here I'm enjoying a nice lovely drink at this restaurant before my flight arrives. Aircraft for tonight's flight is a Boeing 737-800 registered Charlie Foxtrot Foxtrot Lima Juliet. This is one of the older aircraft in the Flair fleet as they operate newer Boeing 737 MAX 8, um, which I will be on in a little bit in a future trip report. But for now, uh, we're going to be on this 737-800 for this flight. Here is the aircraft approaching the gate. Without further ado, let's go hop on board. <laughs> Flair Airlines 737-800 seat 189 passengers in an all-economy 3-3 layout. I'm at seat 9A for this flight. So some interesting stuff ended up happening while we were just sitting here on the ramp. So some cops came into the plane and ended up kicking a guy off. I'm not entirely sure what happened though, uh, because it was further back from where I was sitting. And then the cabin crew was having an issue with the head counts after the person got off. Um, I don't really know why it's that hard to minus one person from the count of people that are on the plane, but I guess that's what happened. But. Uh, we're finally getting underway now, after about an hour of sitting around. Like, if I booked myself on the Air Canada flight to Vancouver that leaves at about the same time, I'd almost already be there by now. But, uh, here we go anyway. Here's our pushback, taxi, and departure off of runway 17 right. Veuillez prendre la carte des consignes de sécurité qui se trouve dans la pochette du siège devant vous afin d'avoir tous les détails des mesures de sécurité du Boeing 737. Si vous ne l'avez pas déjà fait, veuillez attacher votre ceinture de sécurité. Pour l'attacher, insérez la boucle dans la pince et ajustez-la à votre hanche. Pour la détacher, soulevez la partie du haut. Le Boeing 737 possède 8 sorties de secours. Il y a 4 portes de secours. Deux portes à l'avant, deux portes à l'arrière. Ces quatre portes sont munies d'un toboggan qui se gonfle automatiquement. Quatre sorties d'urgence sont situées au-dessus des ailes de l'avion. Chaque côté de l'appareil possède deux issues de secours au-dessus des ailes. Toutes les sorties sont clairement indiquées. Veuillez regarder autour de vous afin de repérer la sortie la plus proche de vous, ainsi qu'une sortie de remplacement. Tenez compte du fait que la sortie la plus proche peut être située derrière vous.
inside the cabin we have a little reading light and a nice little air vent thingy. The tray table is nice and spacious, which is a good change from that on the 737 MAX, which is absolutely tiny. In the seat back pocket, um, in place of the non-existent IFE system, there is a safety card and a meal menu. The leg room here is quite good, especially for me since I'm under 6 feet, but if you're someone like Alex Proglowski, you may still want to take the bulkhead row up front. And once again, there is no IFE on Flare, um, which normally isn't a problem on this lovely flight across the mountains, uh, if it's in the day, that is. For a little midnight snack, I ordered a Kit Kat and a glass of water. Now for the loo review. The bathroom on board is pretty spacious and quite clean as well. It's one of the better ones I've seen. I also like this blue lighting in the cabin quite a lot. On the armrest here, there are controls that don't work anymore, which were originally for some sort of IFE system, but that is not there. There is also German writing on the back of the seat, which is probably because of an airline that operated this aircraft before Flare. Right now, we're flying over Kelowna, which is pretty much the most interesting thing to see on this night flight. getting close to our arrival in Vancouver. So here is our approach and landing on runway 08 right, with some cool external footage as well. Yes, my rating of the landing is mayonnaise, because it wasn't very smooth. So, that's been the flight from Calgary to Vancouver on the Flair Airlines Boeing 737-800. Um, apart from the long delay at the beginning of this flight, it wasn't all that bad um, for my first time trying out a low-cost carrier, and I do understand why people like low-cost carriers like this 
especially after COVID when they may not have been making very much money during the pandemic and after it want to go visit friends and family um, but without having to pay for it very much. So uh, Flair Airlines is actually quite good and my experience on the way back to Calgary was even better um, than this. So stay tuned for that nice trip report and I will see you in the next one.